Hey guys, um, Poopsie here, and um, today I have a Wi-Fi battle for you versus Lol whatever 85. He's a very good YouTuber. He's really awesome, and he's really funny. So go check him out. Like this is a standard match. I think we had it like two hours ago. So very good, very incredibly epic, really close. So he leads off with his. Uh, I forget what he leads off with. I lead off with Burn Garrow. He leads off with his Hippowdon. Now, right away, I'm thinking this thing's going to either go for an Earthquake set of rocks. So I just safely stay in and go for Burn. I'm um, go for the Bowling Water. But he goes for Toxic, which I wasn't really expecting to see on this Hippowdon. So, yeah. He's just going to attack me with his Toxicness. And I'm going to get hurt because of it. So... Um, I go for boiling water, hoping to get a burn, but I'm not going to get the burn because the game hates me. And he goes for slack off and gets all that HP back. So, that sucked. So, I get some lefties and he's getting hurt from his burn. Because burn hurts. And I'm getting hurt from my toxic, so... I believe we're going to pull off a double switch here. I'm going to switch into my Zapdos. He's going to switch into his Vap... Vappy, because Vappy is abusive um wish come protect whore and yeah so i'm at full health now with no status conditions so my walling abilities are doubled anyway he's gonna switch out and do his uh glide score which is i actually break the switch into uh and powder and go for hp ice but l luckily he goes in this thing and it's gonna get owned by an empower ice almost when it ko'd even in sandstorm well, actually i don't think no Glass Core Sand Veil. Never mind. So, he's going to Toxic my Zapdos because he likes to Toxic things. And I just go for Hidden Power Ice and knock out his Glass Core. So, yeah. My Zapdos is... Basically, my Zapdos is a gigantic check to everything in his whole entire team. So, anyway, he's going to go into his Doryuzu, which is the only counter to my Zapdos he has, I believe. So, he goes for Stone Edge. And even though my... my uh, um. You know, it's resisted and unstabbed. It almost, actually, over, it over, then two KOs my freaking frail, um, what's this thing called? Gijundo. Because Gijundo is so frail, it's ridiculous. Anyway, um, yeah, I bring in my Burn Garrow, kind of as fodder, because I don't want my, uh, Gijundo to die just yet. And here I'm hoping he'll miss the Stone Edge, but he actually packs a Shadow Claw on this thing, which really, like, shocked me. I have no idea this thing can even have Shadow Claw. Well, I know Cash Shadow Claw. I'd never see a Deer user ever have Shadow Claw before. Anyway, I go into my Sazendora because it's the only check that I have to this uh, Deer user when he switches out into his Vappy to take the Fire Blast or no Flamethrower and eat it like it was his breakfast. So he eats it, and I'm going to force a switch here. So I go into my Natore because I'm scarfed. And I go to my Anatore, and here is going to basically be, I guess, a mini, not mini, but a average stall war. He's going to go for a Hydro Pump after he goes for a Wish, and I'm just going to go for a, a my. I'm going to set my rocks, actually, because um, I would make, I mean, idiot decision went for rocks. I really don't even need the rocks, because I think all of his pokes left on his team, except for a couple, one or two, resi resist uh, the rock typing, so... Here, well, instead of just uh, narrating the stall war, I think I'm going to talk about something else real quick. Um, yeah. You guys have to um, start watching like my vids on the Doom Team. The Doom Team is a channel that I'm a partner. I'm a, I guess, director at that channel. And it's losing its views and uploads are less frequent. So I need you guys to go over there, subscribe, I guess, support it. Or it'll basically just die overall. So yeah, if I could ask you guys a kind favor, just go sub the Doom team, or even just just watch some of the vids and comment if you like. And also, yeah, if I if I never mentioned it before, I love comments more than anything. I mean, I love hearing what you guys have to say about my battles. And if you guys could just take a second out of your time, or a few seconds out of your time, just to leave a comment, it means a lot to me. So please leave some comments. I love reading them more than. Pretty much anything else. I like to get feedback on my videos. I don't care if they're bad. I actually prefer better comments though, but I don't know. 
do whatever you wish. Just make sure you leave a comment and smile my video if you are awesome. So yeah. Um, back to the Star War thingy. His Vaporeon is, I think, going to die after he gets one more wish left, so that's pretty good. He goes for Protect just to stall me out because he's a Vappy. And it's almost going to die to the Sandstorm, but, but nope. Gets his wish, and that screwed me over because fail, Vaporeon is fail. Anyway, um, Protect and whatnot. His Protect fails, which I laughed at him because his Protect failed, and I'm just going to whip it with my uh, Steel Thorns, and it's going to die. So he brings in his Zoroark, which I haven't seen yet, and I have to switch because I'm, fre I'm fearing a Flamethrower. Going my size Dora, but he actually goes for a sub. So that kind of struck me odd. I mean, I don't know. I want a Sazendora because Sazendora can take dark attacks and fire attacks with ease. And basically about anything that's, that uh, Zoroark has. So let's go for U-turn just to break this sub because I really don't want to stay in and lock myself in a flamethrower. Just in case he had like him power fighting or something. And he goes for a night burst. And I'm going back to Jundo predicting that. He will resist resisted. It still almost kills me. And yeah. So here he's going to switch. I don't know, I guess in a hip out on kind of his fodder. As I go for a fake out just to get the safe guaranteed damage on anything. Unless it's a ghost. And I get it on incoming hip out on. So here I was kind of worrying a uh high jump kick wouldn't would miss or wouldn't kill, but I just go for it anyway. And because overpowered, high jump kick equals death, so oh yeah. High jump kick is like hundred and twenty base power in this gen, so it's like it's like a free close combat basically. Anyway, I go to my Zapdos because we're, it's a double down here and he goes into a Zoryuzu, which is the absolute worst thing. He could, I, he could, I could have switched into a Zapdos. He sets up SD on the switch, and if I just overpredicted and stayed in there and heat waved, I probably could have changed this. So anyway, he's gonna um want to KO my Tori with EQ, and um I'm just gonna go into my Sazendor, I guess hoping he'll miss a Stone Edge, but he doesn't because I fail, and. Here I'm going to go into Zapdos, because it's like the only thing I have left that won't die to an Earthquake. And Stone Age can miss, that's why I go into it. And I just go for Heat Wave and kill the incoming Zoroark thingy. So yeah, Zoroark dies. Um, uh, yeah, I get hurt from Poison, which worries me quite a bit. And he goes into his uh, Garchomp thingy, which is uh, going to attempt to want to kill me without Rage. But I predict that, and I go into my Victini basically it's fodder because it will get outsped and when it KO'd by Earthquake from Doryuzu, so it's basically fodder. So yeah, I go into it just to die, because why not? Why wouldn't it die? Because whenever I try a new poke, it always sucks no matter what. Anyway, it gets the second turn that way, which is just what I needed. So I go into my Zapdos, my last poke, and he has, oh, he has all he has is this left in his Doryuzu, so he gets that lucky hurt and confusion, which I really needed. And he's going to get O-Code by Hidden Power Eyes. I was, I was almost going to run Hidden Power Grass on this thing, too. Lucky I did Ice. So anyway, um, I get hurt from some poison. And he's going to switch into his Doryuzu now. So here I was... Pr if he misses Stone Edge, I win. But he doesn't miss Stone Edge. And I lose. So that was epic. Absolutely epic game. Low whatever, 85. I don't know if the crit mattered because I'm... Physically bulky, but who cares? Anyway, it was a really good game, really epic. Um, the question of the day today, guys, what do you prefer? Like, black or white? Which one? I have white because white is... Zachrom is cool. So basically, what do you, are you going to get black or white when it comes out in English? So comment, hit subscribe, guys. Answer the question of the day in the comments with a thoughtful comment and explaining why which one is better. So comment, hit subscribe, guys, and bye. Yeah, so I forgot to mention this. Um, there's this guy. His name is iShows. His name is on the screen. His uh, YouTube link is there too. Go subscribe him because um, he's awesome, and I love him because he's the, like the coolest guy ever. So go check him out. Um, adios, guys.